guys, Joe from One Up Reviews, and today we've got a sneak review and an unboxing of the Nike Air Max Scorpion FK. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, it helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown our way, and I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this, so thank you. Let's go, and today we've got a look at the Nike Air Max Scorpion. We've got this in the Phantom Black Light Cream colorway in the UK size 7.5. European 42 and it's US 8.5. We've done tons of Air Max reviews in the past, so check the past reviews out, Air Max 1s. I mean, I can name a lot of Air Max. We do love Air Max here, it's one of the OG Nike lines. We love the technology and this is kind of brand new. I think, I'm not, personally I haven't seen anything from it, from Nike design anything like this. Um, it's very wide, it's very big. We've seen tons of big Air Max units, but this is one of a kind. And I just want to mention, we got this from Nike, and with, obviously with Nike trying to reduce their waist, um, this is all it came in with. Very bland box, delivered, and that was about it. So let's get unboxing. And yeah, there you go. We're working to ditch the double box and ship shoes in the single shoe box made with at least 90% recycled content. So great mission statement there from Nike and I'd love to see loads of more other brands do this as well. You might end up with uh, broken boxes though, so yeah. We'll see how you feel about that. But here it is, right there. And like I told you guys, it's probably one of the biggest Air Max units I've ever seen because it's literally it's just an exposed Air Max unit that makes the whole midsole. Let's get the other one out. So we start with the outsole. So this outsole essentially is an exposed Air Max unit and you can see little traction padding there. So that is made out of some PVC, but you've got a lot more traction padding at the heel and at the toe. So you can see it all there, like proper rubber, more traction and support. Midsole unit, so the midsole is essentially, as I mentioned before, it's just an exposed Air Max unit. And you've got the Air Max dotted right there on the medial side, you can faintly see it right there. The upper is made out of a, constructed out of a flyneck technology. Essentially it is a sock liner, all in this really nice off-white colorway there. And you've got at the tongue, it's made out of like this hairy material. It's all textile materials, there's nothing animal sourced from it, but it does kind of look like a hairy suede, the tongue. And you've got the Air Max logo there, you've got some thin rope lacing there. Obviously with it being Flyknit technology, it's very breathable. We've done tons of Flyknits before and that's the major positive that we took out of Flyknit technology, Flyknit uppers, is that they're really comfortable, breathable and very lightweight. I mean these sneakers, with it being essentially a big Air Max bubble, uh, the weight is mostly from this bubble. The upper, not so much, it's very light, as I mentioned before. you got like a jeweled Nike swoosh at the toe. Medial and lateral side, you've got the Nike swoosh stitched on. And you got this like synthetic microfiber around the toe box. That's just there to prevent any abrasion whilst you're doing a, a run or casual walks. Insole, so you got a foam insole with the, the Nike like recycled. So this is made out of recycled materials from Nike, right there. And the back here at the heel, you've got again, you've got that synthetic suede, synthetic materials again, and you got the Nike pull tab there also. So I was talking to about Jeff about why it's called the Air Max Scorpion, if there's any you like story behind it, um, couldn't find anything online, but I was just discussing with him how the shape of this Air Max bubble, when you look at it from the top down, it's like the scorpion's tail. So I think that's how 
they got the name. Um, if anyone from Nike is watching this, you know, let us know. If, if you're informed about why it's called the Air Max Scorpion, let us know in the comment section below. That's, we're here to learn as well. All that said, I'm really excited to try these on. This is a really massive unit and obviously it's gonna give me a bit of height. You know, I'm six foot, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm five eight. So hopefully it will make me six foot. So I'll roll out footage of me trying these Air Maxes on. When it comes to the sizing guys, I recommend that you get your true to size fit. It was a bit difficult to get my feet in, but if I remember correctly from past flying it um, uppers, they, they're a bit tough to get in, but then they do take some time to like break in the spread to the shape of your foot. I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, of the Air Max unit. I thought it was going to be like 270, you know, past big ones that we've done in the past before, but it feels a bit unstable. I don't feel like I'm, uh, I feel like it's sort of bobbling about a bit because of the shape, but that's probably just me. And I'm a bit worried that, it, you know, you puncture these, you can puncture these with this, the Air Max unit so easily. So be careful when you're, I guess, walking down with these on. But other than that, they, they look cool. Nice colorway and the off white. Not the biggest fan though, that's just my opinion, but what is my opinion to everyone else? Thanks guys for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe, follow us at 1UP Reviews with a Z at the end. Until next time, peace.